We now learn how to calculate the mean, which is also known as the expected value, of a continuous random variable. And we'll start simply by stating the formula, and we'll then learn how to use it as well as interpret it with a worked example. Now throughout, we're going to assume that we're dealing with a continuous random variable called capital X, and that it has a probability density function, a PDF, f of x. Now the formula for calculating the mean is the following. We write mu, which is the Greek equivalent of our letter m, equals to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times f of x, where f of x is the probability density function of the continuous random variable. As I said previously, the mean is also called the expected value, and this formula can therefore also be written as follows. Capital E of capital X equals to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of X times F of X. To be clear, both of these formula are exactly the same, the only distinction is the terminology. In the first, we're referring to the mean value, and in the second, we're referring to the expected value. Both things mean exactly the same thing. Okay, now that we've seen the formula, let's go ahead and learn how to use it with a worked example. Here's an example. We're told that the time in seconds it takes to reheat a cup of coffee can be modeled by the continuous random variable capital X with probability density function f of x, which equals to the piecewise function defined as 3 eighths of x squared for all x contained between 0 and 2, and it's equal to 0 elsewhere. And we're asked to calculate the mean amount of time it takes to reheat a cup of coffee. In other words, we need to calculate the mean of this continuous random variable capital X. I'll start by moving this question to the side a little bit. There we go. Now, let's get started. By definition, as we've just seen, the mean is mu, which equals to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times f of x, where f of x is the probability density function. Now, looking at the probability density function that we're given in the question, we can see that for all x outside of the interval 0 to 2, the function is equal to 0. Consequently, this integral turns into the following. It's equal to the definite integral from 0 to 2 of x times 3 eighths of x squared. Multiplying these two x's together and taking the 3 eighths outside of the integral, we can write that this equals to 3 over 8 times the definite integral from 0 to 2 of x cubed. That's equal to 3 over 8 times, in square brackets, x to the power of 4 over 4, with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2. And to make life easier, I like to take this factor of a quarter outside of these square brackets. So this would equal to 3 over 8 times 1 over 4, times, in square brackets, x to the power of 4, with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2. That's equal to 3 over 32, times in square brackets, x to the power of 4, with lower limit 0 and upper limit 2. This equals to 3 over 32, times 2 to the power of 4, minus 0 to the power of 4, and that's equal to 3 over 32, times in square brackets, 16, which equals to 3 times 16, over 32, which is 2 times 16. Finally, the mean mu is equal to 3 over 2, which as a decimal is equal to 1.5. And that's how to calculate the mean of a continuous random variable. Now this mean tells us what we could expect the average or mean value of the continuous random variable to be after a sufficiently large number of trials. So given this scenario, the scenario in which we're reheating a cup of coffee, what this tells us is that if we were to make a note of the time that it takes to reheat a cup of coffee a hundred times or a thousand times or even a million times, then the average of all the times that we'll have written down will tend towards 1.5 seconds. And that's what the mean tells us. 
And that's it for this tutorial. There we go everyone, I really hope that helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video, and even subscribe to our channel, because that really does help us. I'll see you soon.